everybody, and welcome to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion! Oh, yes! And I am gonna make this a one-part LP because I'm gonna show you the entire game in one video. That's right, the entire game. And do you know what the entire game is comprised of? Well, let's see, what do I want to level first? Um... I think I'm going to go do... Let's level up strength, why don't I? Yeah, strength sounds like a good stat to level, I think. Y yeah. Um, let's make one thing very, very clear about Oblivion. It's a great concept. Tremendous visuals. Think environments like this that you will not see in Fallout 3. I mean, it will be overcast some days, it will be rainy some days. Uh, the, the one thing that I wish Fallout 3 had was like an acid rain function where it would give a sense of urgency to go take shelter or something like that. That would have been a great concept. Since this game is built from Oblivion's engine, why... Or since Fallout 3 is built from Oblivion's engine, why can it not rain? Why can it not have weather changes? I mean, overcast days, sunny days. It's been 200 years since the freaking Holocaust. You're telling me that I, I don't care if it's still brown throughout the wasteland. There's still going to be some veritable weather differences, aren't there? I, and, and it's raining. I love rain. I love rain here in, in Cyrodiil. I love Cyrodiil compared to the Capital Wasteland. I just think Oblivion has so much potential. And then you, you get to this. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for like 12 hours, why don't I? Uh, Mazoga will come back. Th I'm going to show you guys the game. This is the game. I mean, you, you can do all the exploration you want. Most of the dungeons actually do end up looking pretty similar. Of course, that also goes for Fallout 3, I would say. Uh, the dungeons look pretty similar. E either it's an alien ruin, it's a mine, or it's a uh, I'm fort. I'm gonna go get me some black bows. Tag along she, if you like. She is. Okay. Hi, Mazoga. I'm gonna. I got a bone to pick with you. Now, what do I want to train? I want to train strength. So I'm gonna want to take off the blade of woe. Take off pretty much every weapon I have. And th this is the game. So let let's go to options, gameplay, jack the difficulty up. If you want the greatest challenge in the game, play on the hardest difficulty. The problem is you won't last 10 seconds unless your character is 100 in like every stat. Uh, okay, let there. Accepts your yield, and I'm nearly dead because I wasn't doing it right. So l let's let's just take a, a very very close look at the hand to hand skill. Okay, it started at ten. It's gonna go up to fifteen. No, not fifteen. It, I'm gonna want it to go up to twenty. This I'm dead. Yeah, that's fantastic. Auto save. See, that's the problem with this game. You can't adequately train unless you're literally in a controlled environment. Say say you want to do something like, uh, oh, I don't know, raise your alteration ability. Do you know one of the best ways to do that? Well, if you guess, just keep casting open very easy lock on a surface, that uh, a lockable surface, guess what? You're correct. You just sit here, keep doing this over and over, and guess what? You raise your alteration skill, which raises your willpower. And willpower is good because that gives you greater magicka gain over time. I mean, it's greater magicka recovery, which allows you to cast better spells more in succession, right? Cool. So, that, that's a great concept, right? Well, here's the problem. You do nothing but grind throughout this game if you want to be the very best, like no one ever was. You know, to catch them is your real test, to train them is your cause, that sort of stuff. I accept your. And literally! You just sit here doing this! Your hand to hand skill increase. And God, I'm yielding! Why isn't it yielding well? God. Anyways, pretty much the best way to do this is just to keep 
using hand to hand. Eventually, you do level up ten times. And if it's a major skill, you level ten times, you get to your hey. next level, right? Well, you don't want to do that. Hey. Oh. <laughs> the entire game is spent so doing nothing but this. I mean, yes, you can go exploring, but if you go exploring, you end up unefficiently leveling, or inefficiently leveling. And what's that mean? Well, that means if you want a very, very challenging experience, you are screwed! Because the greatest difficulty will kill you! So, oh, I don't know, I mean... For some of them, I think their heart was in the right place, like Block, I mean... Really, though, Block isn't Render. something that's gonna raise your endurance very well, you wanna know why? Because here, let, let me show you what comprises of, of block racing, pretty much. Uh, equip the Leywin shield. For the love of God, take it down to the lowest difficulty setting. Because all difficulty really comprises of is uh, the HP and I would assume the magicka of an enemy. So let's see. Back let me show off. you. I'm warning you. Uh, didn't I equip the Leywin shield? I did. I guess you need a hand-to-hand -hand weapon, too. There we go. Okay. Dagger of Sparks. Okay. Now this... Say you want to level your block. This is it. Just sit here for ten minutes, letting her hit you over and over and over again. You gotta stockpile potions for this, too! I have never seen a game's engine... A game's leveling engine rely on more grinding since Final Fantasy VIII. I haven't. Okay, because oh, land, you're supposed to stay low level because the enemies get way stronger than you do. Yes, well, say you're doing triple triad to get all of your uh, draw system. Okay, all of your junctions. <laughs> I love Final Fantasy VIII, but in the end, that's what it comes down to: grinding in one form or another. RPGs, not all RPGs do this. I mean, for the love of God, uh, Fallout 3, I've never grinded in that game. But this one, it's just... Oh, great. Uh, no, I'm not getting tired. It's so long-winded and ridiculous. I want to go outside. I want to enjoy the game's environment and stand a chance against great difficulty. I mean, I'm very, very OCD, so I need to have perfect everything. A lot of people may not be like this in RPGs, but I am. I need to 100%. I need to have a perfect character. Uh, and... With 100 in all statistics... Uh, I, mean, I want to go out and I want to enjoy. I want to explore. I want to go underwater and find creatures of the deep to fight against. <laughs> I want to go into the forest near the Black Marsh. I want to go up in the mountains near Skyrim. I mean, I love this concept because Cyrodiil is just such a gorgeous world wherever you go. The further southwest you, or the further southeast you go, you get closer and closer to the Black Marsh so it gets very swampy. The further north you go, the, the closer it, uh, Cyrodiil is the center of the Empire. This is the game that could have showcased everything that the Elder Scrolls w had to offer. It, the further north you go, the closer you get to Skyrim and the snowy environments. Uh, the further west you go, the further you get to Hammerfell and High Rock with all of the mountainous environments. Uh, not quite snowy, but mountainous. And... Valenwood! Same thing! You go to the foresty areas, and the center is just this great plains-like area. Cyrodiil is the most gorgeous area that there could ever be in the world of the Elder Scrolls, but this? I can't even enjoy it because I'm sitting there indoors in a controlled environment having to grind. And God forbid you want to level up destruction because, oh, that takes forever to do. So you know what's a better way to level up destruction? Ah, uh, one word. Spells. But it's not just any spell. It's a custom spell. You gotta go through the mind-numbingly boring level of the Mage's Guild side quest. And you need to get your corrode armor spell. And a self-corrode armor spell. So you just sit here using... Screwing over your armor. For this. Really. 
this is how you level up your destruction skill to get all of those great badass spells to use fingers of the mountain. Uh, did, I really, really wish it. it <laughs> Excellent ideas. The world of Cyrodiil in Oblivion. The world of Cyrodiil. Absolutely great concept. Horrible, horrible execution. I'm done, everybody. I hope you have a good day.